Hey everybody, there is a brand new upgrade for Altair, Meridian, and the Brother Stellaire series. Oh my goodness, I can't even do a top 10 because we're going to cover 20 new features. I hope I can get them all fitted in. This is Kathy, and this is Sewing Tech Talk. So here we go. <laughs> I want to see if I can get all 20 features in. Oh, there's so many. We have some pretty big wow ones. <laughs> We're going to get to those, but I want to touch on everything because everything really takes this machine. Now the Altair is sewing and embroidery, Meridian embroidery only, and in the Stellaire series by Brother, well, they have an embroidery only and a sewing and embroidery combination machine as well. Now, I am working on the Altair today, but all you Brother Stellaire owners, <laughs> this all completely applies to you as well. Now, I'm going to go through the upgrade features, and at the very end of the video, I'd like to show you how I updated my Altair, just in case you needed to see it. Maybe you've not upgraded your machine before. It's a pretty straightforward process. So I want to show you that so that you'll feel really comfortable when you get yours and you're ready to go. Okay, let's go to the screen. 21, 20 different <laughs> features. Let's see if we can do it. Okay, and I have a checklist, <laughs> so I'm going to check off to make sure I don't forget anything. Okay, first off, all kinds of fun stuff. The screen doesn't change that much. There's our basic screen here. Let's go, for example, into the fonts. There's two new fonts, 21 and 22 are fonts that have been added. There's a new monogramming font, which looks very heirloom-like, and there's all the different letters. You know that for every one of your monogramming fonts, there's also little embellishments. So, for example, if I want to take this, hit set, I can add on one of those monograms, and it looks pretty mighty elegant. There we go. Set. Now, in the embroidery screen, we have had stippling we can put automatically in the background before, but now we have more choices. So when I come into edit, this is the key I've used in the past to do the stippling in the background. So let's see what choices that we have. So it's going to come in with stippling, of course. Now we have a new cool hoop, but I'm just going to go with maybe an 8x8. Now that doesn't come with your machine, but it's a hoop that's available for your machine. So there's stippling, but now we have two things we can add. Echo quilting is pretty cool. And I hit a preview to see what it looks like before I send it to. Oh, that's kind of neat, but I bet I can do better. Now, we in the past have had all kinds of different decorative uh, fills to go in the background. Those are still there, but now we have even more choices that we can automatically put behind that letter. So here's the ones we had in the past, but we have some pretty cool new ones that we have added. And let's see, hmm, maybe this one will look, whoops, maybe that one will look great with my letter C. Okay, now it's going to put it in the background. Let's see a preview. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, different different fill patterns that go in the back. We have different um, um, line motifs as well. So let's go cancel. Now, if I want to put something around here in a line motif, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an outline and send it to IQ Designer. So when we come up here, that's my shape creator, and it's going to go around. But I don't want the C. What I really want is I really want that outside line. Here we go. Now, send that off to IQ Designer and let's pull it up and see what we got. I've already done it, so let's add from IQ Designer. Now, when I'm in IQ Designer, there's one other feature I want to tell you about. In the eraser and the brush tool, we have a lot more choices when it comes to different sizes that we can use. But let's pull up that shape that I made and see some of those cool lines. There's that. There's my line that I pulled up. Okay. Now, Let's take it. I want to take it. I want to make it a little tiny bit bigger just because I don't want it right around my little guy. Okay. Now, let's find some of those lines. If you look up in here, you touch this icon in the corner and touch select and look at all these cool choices. I don't know which one to choose. Let's just pick the one that came up because I can't decide. And let's see. Okay. Touch the bucket. Touch the line. Next. 
Uh, and I don't forget, I can put it on the inside or the outside, depending on what I want to do. And because there's like a feather looking one, that it gets really important. So I'm going to hit set. Let's see what this looks like without even any changes. That's kind of cool. Let's send it off to my monogram. Very nice. And of course I can change everything that I want to. And I could even put that, that echo quilting or that stippling in the back. So I've gone through quite a bit. Let's go back to just the regular embroidery section and see what else we got. Now, when I come into buttonholes, now buttonholes you may not or may not have been playing with when it comes to making garments, but in the buttonholes now you have two additional um, eyelets, and these buttonholes also are available in two extra sizes as well, small and super extra small. And one other thing is, here is the buttonhole embellishment section. These are kind of cool, but they've added a whole bunch more. So these are all kinds of different embellishments you can add to buttonholes, but they're cute little tiny designs, which is really nice. So let's play with this. No, no, no. I don't want that one. I want that. I want to show you this. I was playing earlier. I want to find that one eyelet. There it is right there. And it's available in large, medium, or small, but I want the large one set. Now, it's pretty small. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Cool. Okay, now there's a new feature. You've always had your border feature where you can add different items to make a linear design or fill up the whole page. But now we have what's called matrix copy. And matrix copy is going to do it automatically and efficiently for us. So when I hit that, it's going to populate my whole hoop. This is my giant nine and a half by 14 inch hoop with all those different eyelets. Now I can see that to be fabric. I can see that repeated around the bottom of a skirt or around the sleeve of a jacket. And maybe that's too many. <gasps> Put crystals in the middle. But let's make it even different. See how efficiently it separates everything apart. And I just have to let it do its thing and I have a completely different look. And that works with any of your designs that you have in, in the machine. That's pretty cool. All right, what have I done? Oh, let's explore some other, let's explore some other designs. Now there's always when you have an update, uh, no, an upgrade, <laughs> sorry, when you have an upgrade, there's all kinds of things that are added. Now, in this, like I mentioned, in Baby Lock and Brother, all the designs are the same. So they've added all of these different categories to be additional designs. This is in the hoop designs. These are all different needle, that's a needle book, that's a scissor case, and then that's a pin cushion. They have this, which is all my pretty little appliques. Oh, I stitched, I couldn't stand it. I had to stitch out the gnomes. Aren't they pretty? <laughs> I think they're so cute. And we're gonna embellish this quilt with some more gnome-like things when we get to the couching. So there's that. I love the sewing machine too. Now we have our magnetic hoop that comes with the upgrade and we're going to play with that in a little bit. But look at all these fun designs and a lot of them what we can do is we can do edge-to-edge -edge type quilting on our Altair. This one's really cool. And you can use that magnetic hoop or the giant hoop that came with your machine. And we're going to talk about two-point placement, which, oh my gosh, takes it to the next level. These are all different large light designs. Here's one that's very, very pretty. Isn't that nice? And here are a bunch of other different designs. They're kind of nice. And there's some pretty large ones. Now, let's bring up one of my favorites, which is this butterfly, because I want to show you something that's really neat. When we hit set, now, we have something that's now called No Sew. And this butterfly, well, it's quite a few different colors. But I'm going to come in and I'm going to take away some of them using the No Sew key. So when I select that, I can pick some of the different colors of this butterfly and make them go away. So let's see what we can do there. So I can see that that is that, oh, uh, so many colors. I don't want that. I just want to take away these little flowers. There's a flower. Now when I hit this, oops, wrong one. Oh my goodness, how many colors are in this butterfly? 
here they go. Okay, there's some of the colors. Let's get that no so. Oh, here they go away. They're going away. My flowers on the outside are going away. Every time I hit this, that eliminates one of the colors. Now, I kind of know what I think you're saying out there. Kathy, I just don't have to stitch those colors. Well, here's what I'm going to tell you. If I have those colors there and I pick some of my out border function background quilting, let's pick a smaller hoop. Now, if I had those flowers there, it would go around those, but I don't have them there. So now what it'll do is it'll just go around the butterfly and the flowers are not there. So if I choose my echo quilting, let's see what happens. It's going around just my butterfly and it's not going around the flowers. Preview. Now that's very pretty and I could use that as a block in my quilt. So no so is kind of a hidden sneaky feature. It kind of gives you the chance to go around something take an outline and I can also take that stamp outline and I can take that into IQ Designer without having all the little flowers there. So it's a very cool little feature. Let's see, let me look at my thing. Oh, one other thing I wanted to tell you. So when you update your machine, another thing that's kind of cool is do you see how you have the wireless icon up here? Well, once I updated my machine, upgraded my machine, there was an immediate update Date. Let me tell you the difference between the two because I'm saying different words. An upgrade adds stuff. It adds a really cool <laughs> eight, 7 by 12 manganese hoop, which we're going to play with in a little bit. But it also adds all the kind of different features I've been showing you. An update means that they've come up with something, a better way to kind of stitch this or, or something that makes this these up upgraded features better. So once I did the update, one of the other cool features of it is the machine, if it's hooked up to your wireless network, it automatically searches for the latest update for your machine. So as soon as I put the upgrade in the machine, it said, hey, wait a minute, <laughs> we've come up, we've, we found some bugs or some different things that we want to fix. And it showed me that little icon in the upper left-hand corner. It automatically downloaded that to my machine <laughs> once I said okay and it absolutely updated it and I didn't have to deal with using a jump drive like I have to do with the upgrade. Now remember at the end of the video I'm going to show you that process. It's not hard but I just wanted to make sure you knew how to do it. Okay so that's another feature that's pretty cool. What else do we have? Let's look at my little list. Let's see I've gone over that, 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 and that. Oh Okay, so now let's do one of the cool features that I really like. These are some of the wow features. There is embroidery couching and it comes with an embroidery couching foot, which I've already put on the machine and some cool designs and an alphabet. Now I've already stitched my gnomes on my quilt. So I figured this quilt needed to say gnome sweet gnome. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> so I'm ready to do the second gnome. I have already brought up the different designs and it's going to do yarn couching. Now the yarn that I got, let me show you, is I went to that big box store and this yarn is a cotton yarn. What you want to do with you're selecting yarns is find some with hmm, some bulk to it, uh, but it doesn't have to be too bulky, but you don't want something that's super thin because the machine needs to couch it as catch it as it's couching it down. Now another thing is that the instructional videos on the machine, they have been updated. That's another cool feature to show you exactly how to use these new features. So there's a step-by-step -step tutorial to show you both in video and written form exactly how to do this yarn couching. So let's get started with that so I can finish up my Gnome Sweet Gnome. And I'm going to use the two-point positioning to make sure it's absolutely perfect. So let's go up to the machine. So I want to come up and I want to pull up my gnome, which I put in the memory of the machine. There it is. There's my, there's my gnomes right there. That's the quilting design we're going to use, but I want to do my gnome yarn right now. So I'm going to hit set. 
Now these letters are pretty big. Notice it fills my nine and a half by 14 inch, at least 14 inch hoop. So let's get started stitching that. When I go to embroidery, the machine is automatically going to set me up for the speed that I need. It's going to slow the machine down to 350 stitches a minute automatically. I've put on the yarn foot. Like I said, there's a video tutorial for that. And I've put my yarn all the way through the foot. Now let's use that two point positioning to make sure it's absolutely perfect. So there's my design. If I come up to layout, you have a brand new icon down here. And this is for two point positioning. When I select that, I can choose all kinds of different places to place my gnome. So right now it shows you how my design is. And if I choose this upper right hand corner, which is the one I'm going to use, that means I'm going to start the positioning there. But I could actually make sure that the, that the word is put precisely where I wanted it to, for example, in the middle of my quilt. I could just pick the center. You can see how the, the little blue dot goes to where I'm placing it. Say I'm doing a pocket topper. I could come and choose this icon right here and exactly go perfectly on top of my pocket. So I'm going to pick the one corner that I want to... Oh, nope, I think I want the middle to make sure it's right in the middle of my, of my design. Now, when I go next, what we're going to do is we're going to figure out how we're going to so select the angle that we're going to make sure it's perfect. And I want it to go straight down. And I'm going to go next. So now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place that first, that center icon in the center where I've marked my quilt. So <laughs> you can't see it because I have the yarn couching foot on. But there's a little red light that shines down. I'm just going to use the profile of the foot right now. But there's a little red light that shines down to make sure that you're absolutely perfect. Now we've always had IQ positioning with the Baby Lock Altair or the Brother Stellar, which is the app I use my mobile device and take a picture of the hoop. But this two point positioning is absolutely accurate and I can go to the absolute pinpoint where I want it to be. So now let's move it to the center and I'm going to lower my foot just so that I can see and I'm going to move my foot to the center point right here. I can go a little bit finer and I need to come forward just a little bit. Now, if I didn't have my yarn couching foot on, I'd have that little red light. So I'm pretty good with where that is. Remember, I'm putting the top of my word exactly where I want it to be. So now let's go next. And I'm going to find the bottom of my line. <laughs> and I know that it's about an eighth of an inch off. So let's move it. And now I have it right on the top of my line, right where it needs to be. Set. Now what it has done, it has slightly put in my, my word exactly where I need it to be. It's not only centered it, but it's corrected it for the angle. Now I know that when I match all my three together, it's going to be just perfect. And this yarn couching is kind of fun. Imagine all the different places you can go now to shop to get cool yarn to add on to your projects. I have another project in mind, and that's another video. I have so many ideas. So now let's get started with this. The yarn is coming through the foot. I'm going to move this out of the way. And as it sews, it's going to stitch it down. I've used a lightweight thread in the needle. And what's going to happen, it's going to stitch this yarn down. Let me pull it back just a little bit. I want to have enough yarn to, to put, uh, to bury after the whole process is done. So let's get started. So you can see that this process is a little bit slow, but I want to show you one other thing while it's going, and then we'll come on back 
when I finish my whole word. But let me show you one thing while it's sewing because there's another feature that's been added and it's called IQ monitoring. And I'm going to sit and watch this the whole time because I'm doing the yarn couching and I want to make sure the yarn feeds. But if you're doing other designs, you know you don't have to be right next to your machine. So let me get this started and I'll show you what IQ monitoring is. So I put the app, it's a free app, and I put it on my iPad and I'm going to bring up IQ monitoring. There's IQ monitoring and it shows me the letter that I'm on right now. It shows me exactly how many stitches and all the different colors. Now I know this is all the same color, but if you have a design with multiple colors like that butterfly, it would show you all the different colors here and you can take this to your yarn, your thread stash and pick out all the colors and you don't have to run back and forth to your machine. Let's go back into monitoring and I want to start the machine and I want to show you how how cool this is. It's counting down my stitches and telling me exactly where I'm at in the process. It shows me a bar and it shows me right where my needle is. So I'm going to stay and I'm going to watch it, <laughs> but for other designs, I'm absolutely using this feature. So I'm going to finish my gnome and I'll be right back. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do some edge to edge quilting with our brand new, very cool seven by 12 inch hoop. <laughs> I'll see you soon. So my yarn couching is all finished and my app, by the way, told me when I ran out of bobbin and when the embroidery was finished, even though I was watching it the whole time. Now let's talk about a couple more. Thank you for sticking with me. They have a couple more wows. Now the magnetic frame comes with the upgrade and it's a pretty cool magnetic frame. I'm going to use it for some embroidery quilting. In fact, this little quilt that I did, I used the magnetic frame and one of the built-in designs and I pretty much got it all quilted in a morning. So that's pretty neat. Now, let me show you basically how I do it and I use that two-point positioning and then I want to show you a couple sewing features. So here's my magnetic frame already on the machine. Let's move to the point where I need to align and I'm going to match this point and continue on with my quilting. This is one of the built-in designs that comes with the upgrade. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go into the embroidery mode and I am going to go plus one stitch. That puts me at the very beginning, which is the top part where I want to match. Now what I'm going to use is my W plus light and that will shine on the quilt and I can see exactly where that needs to come down. So there's the light and I'm going to put it right where my quilt needs to join, my quilting needs to join the other. Can you see that? Now I haven't hooped it yet, but it's so easy with the magnetic hoop. I'm just going to put the needle down and that's right in the spot where I want to see. And let me show you how quick it is to hoop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the smaller magnets that come with and I'm going to position this quilt in place. I already know it's the part that I wanted to start with. Now I'm going to guess on the bottom and put my quilt in as straight as I possibly can. Now remember I have that two point positioning. <laughs> this time you're going to see the light. So let me go into that. I'm going to raise my needle and let's go into the two-point positioning. Now this time I want to start in the upper right-hand corner and look down to the very bottom. Now it's going to shine a light in my upper right-hand corner and that looks pretty good. Now let's see and make sure I did the right rotation. Wow. 
Well, that looks pretty good too. I'm going to move it over just a scooch. A scooch is an official term. That looks pretty good too. Let me put on the rest of my magnets. Now this design only takes a couple minutes, so you can see that I can really rock and roll on my quilt. Now, am I going to quilt it? Well, I could, but let me show you one more thing. I really want to show you that one really exciting WOW sewing feature. So I'll finish this in a little bit. Now let's head over to sewing. While we're here, there's a couple things I want to show you. There's some hand look quilting stitches in this section here. And I used them on this little quilt to make sure it looked like Sashiko quilting. So I hope you can see that. It looks like I did it by hand, but really the machine did all the work. So that's pretty cool. In the quilting tab, there are some new stitches that would be great for applique, and they all work with the digital dual feed. But I want to show you what I really think is a big wow feature, and that is tapering. If you've ever tried to do machine applique and turn a perfect corner. Well, you know, well, that can be kind of challenging. So let's be put on my sewing foot and I want to show you how cool it is. So here's my little applique now. And what I want to do is I want to turn the perfect corner around my square. Now let's select a tapering stitch. I can modify the stitch and then I'm going to go into the tapering tab and tell it exactly how I want to taper. I want to do a taper on the front that's a 45 degree taper and a tapering on the end that's another 45 degree taper. Now what's here's what's so cool. As I'm sewing along I can just press the reverse button and automatically start a taper. But I can select exactly the number of stitches that I need to make it the exact perfect size for whatever I'm doing. So do you see the number 56? That's the number of times I need to make this stitch the distance. So let's program the machine. I can say I want this to stitch 56 times. And you can see it growing as I, as I touch on it. Whoops, I went a little bit too far. Now, I did a practice piece and I know 56 is perfect. Now, I don't want I don't want the machine to 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 automatically reinforce when I'm finished. I am going to turn the corner and let's see how cool this is. I do need to start in the upper right-hand corner. So, let me adjust it so I'm going right down in that corner. That looks really really good. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let the machine do all the work. Now all I have to do is turn my corner and I have a perfect mitered corner.
<laughs> there's a lot of features. Were you counting them? Well, you can go ahead and, hand down, and download or print your handout and check and see if I got everything right. Thanks for watching and sticking with me. That was a dead run. Oh my gosh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks, Kathy. As always, that was an incredible presentation. It really solidifies that the Babylock Altair and the Babylock Meridian truly dollar for dollar are one of the, the most advanced machines on the market. Now with this special upgrade kit, it's even more advanced. So I want to go over a special offer we have on the upgrade. So first of all, the upgrade kit itself has all the software features uh, to bring the Altair and the Meridian up to the Altair 2 and the Meridian 2, which is their new models. So some of the features like matrix copy, uh, 50 new different designs, couching actually has a yarn couching foot and several designs. And then of course, it has that two point laser positioner. So those are some of the software and more features that, that are being added. But it also has that seven by 12 inch magnetic hoop. This is a flat magnetic frame that gives you all kinds of versatility, but it, for quilting and for other fabrics, it is truly one of the, the best hoops out there. For quilting, you can use that two-point uh, laser and truly do edge-to-edge -edge quilting with your hoop. So the upgrade kit, we have it together with a special bonus for a limited time. So what we're doing, we're including a special selection of Madeira thread that uh, is a 18 spool collection. It's called a Sense of Green box and this is exclusive for this kit. We're also including a design download from OESD, a Brody Online, as well as an exclusive collection of baby lock designs. Now this is really thorough and this is from baby lock educators and contributors. And what they've done is they've put together uh, a collection of their own personal designs. And these are only available with this, this bundle. And so with all these different designs that you see here, this pa total package would have uh, a value of $1,234 if bought individually, and you get all of this for a limited time for $799. And you can click on the link to order this or give us a call at 1-800-865-9664. Now, let's say you're watching this and you don't have the Baby Lock Altair or Meridian and you see, wow, this, this is a, an incredible machine. Well, right now, we have the Altair 2, which is the combination sewing and embroidery machine, or the Meridian 2, which is the dedicated embroidery machine, on sale. And you can click on a link in the description to go right to that page. But these are machines for embroidery. They have a large 9.5 by 14 embroidery area, all kinds of editing features with this large color screen. The, the uh, Altair 2 is an incredible sewing machine with automatic fabric sensors, a laser for seam guidance. It even has stitches that sew like automatic stippling. These machines are incredible, but you got to contact us on these machines because I tell you, you can spend almost double the price on other models and not get near the, the features. But give us a call at 1-800-865-9664 if you'd like to discuss these models or click on the link to order the upgrade.